So you just got a wolf cut and you've completely forgot how to style it the next day, don't worry, you're not alone. So we're gonna run it back one more time. First thing you need is a blow dryer, hold that. Next, your favorite pre-style. We're going for a shine today. The next thing you're gonna need is a hair clip. Next, you're gonna need your hands or your feet if you're up for that challenge. Let's dive into it. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you are prepping the hair, especially if you don't already have naturally wavy hair or haven't permed your hair recently. You're gonna need to make sure that you wet it so that when you are blow drying, it can manipulate into different shapes. Step number two is to throw in a pre-styler. For this look, we're gonna go for more of a shine just so that when you blow dries it through, the streaks and the reflection of this hair creates more movement. Step number three is to use your clip. For the wolf cut, we're gonna go for a center part. So for the mid part, use your fingers, start at the reference points of your eyebrows, pull up to the top and pinch the mid part right here. What that's gonna do is allow this hair to build some volume when you're blow drying everything through and you don't have to worry about it because why? You got a clip to help you out. Now you can forget about it. Step number four is to use your blow dryer. You're gonna keep everything on lower speed and a medium heat. That way you can blow dry everything through and manipulate the hair. For the size, what we're gonna do is pin the hair with your fingers, blow dry everything back to create a curvature and also increase the volume. The mullet hair, we're gonna piece it apart by blow drying it forward and letting it flare from the front. For the mid part, we're gonna hold onto the clip and blow dry at the roots first just to set that in place. After that's all done, you're gonna go ahead and blow dry on top just to flare out that mid part and everything will flow down nicely. Moving on to the final touches, all you're gonna need is your hand and maybe some hairspray if you're into that. Pull some hairs from the top, pull forward, push these hairs back. As far as the back goes, you can just scrunch here for more volume and go hand with it. All right, some people like more movement, some people don't. For Simon's case, we're gonna go for a lot more texture. So there you have it, this is how you style the wolf cut. Save this video for a reference in the future if you ever forget again. If you have a friend that's struggling with this too, send it to them and follow us for more hair care tips. We'll see you on the next one. Square Barber, out of here.